This is the odds right now. We're taking a look at it. What are your thoughts on how things are shaping up right now, Shaka? Um, li listen, uh, it's... The, the amazing thing is we've said all season long that this is a lesser version of Manchester City than, than we've become used to. Yet we sit here and they have not lost a game dating back to, to, to the turn of the year, I think it is. City, for all their faults, for all the issues that they may have, being a lesser version of themselves, this point of the season is, is they just know how to get the job done. So it's almost impossible to look past them at this point. I think Liverpool are, are all but out of the title race at this point. Arsenal, it's um, while playing the best football in the league, as I've said, City, it's, it's, it's in their hands. And that is the last place you want it to be. You see them winning out, LA? City? Uh, well, yes. They have the best option that anybody else has. I mean, look, I think what's important about today's game in particular for Manchester City is that because it was over after 35, 40 minutes, realistically, then if you're Pep Guardiola, you're able to withdraw players. You're able to make changes. You're able to relieve some stress. There are going to be a lot of stressful moments, both for the mind and the body, in this close out of the season. And so if you have fresh minds, if you have fresh bodies, you give yourself the best opportunity available. So it's important that teams like Arsenal and Manchester City are able to go through these games in which it becomes a glorified training session. So that when it counts, when you need that small margin that may just be the difference between you winning the league or not, you're fresh and your legs are there and your mind is there and your heart is there. Manchester City, I think, should be the favorites because of the pedigree, because of the experience, because of what they've done. Arsenal are right there. And I think what Arsenal should be very mindful of Let's make this as difficult as possible for Manchester City, as stressful as possible for Manchester City. Let's not just give it away. Let's force them to be perfect from here on out. Frank, what are your thoughts on how we're seeing things right now? Well, so far, you know, and uh, since the beginning of the season, I see City, and uh, as I explained just before, I think they are already in the money time, and they, 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 they are with the, who, uh, they are who they are, and we all know that uh, they are ready for the fight. I think Arsenal, as, um, as uh, Ali just alluded, can put a big pressure if they win against Spurs, which I doubt. Because um, having, having seen uh, Everton you know, uh, winning the derby against Liverpool, it's going to give a big idea of uh, running Arsenal chances uh, from Spurs. So um, it, it, can it can happen that we have a big turn of event uh, during the weekend and uh, seeing City having an easy way to, uh, to win the title. But, yeah, maybe if Arsenal wins against Tottenham, we'll have a suspense. Otherwise, it could be over. Because not, uh, I think City plays within uh, uh, less than 72 hours. They play against uh, Nottingham Forest. If they win and Arsenal loses, yeah, it's kind of over. OK, well, big weekend this weekend, particularly for Arsenal. It's the North London derby. Yes, it's away from home, but Arteta's men have the best away records in the Premier League this season. Frank saying Spurs are going to win this one, though. I'm going for Arsenal. And the two guys here are both saying it will be a draw.